फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन द मोटर ट्रांसपोर्ट वर्कर्स बिल द सेलेक्ट कमेटीज रिपोर्ट ओन विच वी आर कंसिडरिंग नाउ इज वन विच हैज रिसीव्ड द सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑल सेक्शंस ऑफ द हाउस इट इज डिजाइन टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द कंडीशंस ऑफ सर्विस ऑफ द वर्कर्स एंगेज इन दिस इंडस्ट्री एंड टू गिव दैम सम एट लीस्ट ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट रिलीफ which workers in general in the country get this bill is in line with the progressive policy of the government to improve conditions of labor the opposition members at least some sections of the opposition who castigate the government for ignoring the interests of labor should remember that this is one more measure with which they agree and therefore while blaming the government they should keep this in mind the bill as it has emerged from the select committee is a great improvement in this connection we must remember the expert knowledge which most of the members of the select committee brought to bear on the deliberations of the select committee i consider it to be one of the well constituted committees in as much as there were many members on this committee who had specialized in labor both from the opposition sections of both houses as well as from the congress side we were fortunate to have a union ex labor minister on the committee whose knowledge really helped the committee to come to very successful conclusions the select committee was also assisted by persons engaged in this industry both employers and labor as many as 20 memoranda were presented and most of them gave oral evidence before the committee so much so there was not a single clause or part of a clause or even a phrase which went without being well considered that is how the bill has come to be a great improvement on the bill as introduced i personally think that the deliberations of the committee were so very well conducted that the report has come to weigh more on the side of the employees and therefore there is likely to be no room for complaint in this connection sir i must also mention that the deputy minister of labor who was the government's representative present on the committee was very responsive to all the suggestions made and there was not the least resistance on his part in admitting whatever was offered as a suggestion and which went to improve the bill the select committee has made some significant changes in the bill the first change that it made was with regard to clause 1 with regard to the enforcement of the bill this has been referred to in great detail in the discussion today the original bill did not fix any date the date was left open to be prescribed by the central government it was also open to the state governments to fix different dates there was a long discussion about this in the select committee and the government side represented their difficulties in the way of enforcement of this bill and why they could not fix a particular date in the bill itself after much discussion it was agreed that the date should be definitely fixed because several transport concerns were interested in seeing that the provisions of this bill were put off from coming into force as long as possible one could understand their position in as much as great responsibility devolved on the transport concerns by virtue of this measure for instance establishment of canteens rest houses this and that it should be remembered that the concerns we are dealing with here are not concerns like 
factories where they are concentrated where the hours of work and the work itself is confined to a limited area here we have big concerns and small concerns and whereas it should be open to the big concerns to establish rest houses or canteens without much difficulty it would certainly be a great hardship for small concerns to come out with the same thing in spite of all that the select committee came to the conclusion that the date should be fixed as 31st december 1981 now the honorable minister is introducing an amendment to have this date as july 1982 perhaps he will give his reasons as far as i can anticipate it is only the practical difficulties that the state governments will be facing in giving effect to the various provisions of this bill that have influenced him to put off the date by 6 months if the date is put off by 6 months there is not going to be any danger resulting from it it would be better to do that if the government wants time in order to make these arrangements and also to enable the transport concerns to provide themselves with the several things that this bill requires them to do it should not be a great difficulty at all therefore for my own part i do not object to the date being extended to july 1982 stop